Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a love story video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Wedding videographers are always looking for new and creative ways to capture a couple's love story. These often involve compiling photos of the couple through the years set to music, and they're typically shown at the wedding reception. I think it would be really fun to create a doodly love story video for a couple that includes some of their favorite photos and memories together. And since doodly allows you to add your own music or narration, it would be really easy to personalize the video even further. Plus, you can add a hand-drawn touch and create something truly unique. You'll see I've already added a series of photos for our fictional couple, Jake and Jill. Now, these are just photos I got from Freepik. They're just imaginary people but I think this will give you an idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. Now with these imported photos, we could create drawing paths for all of them, but that's really tedious and time consuming. Luckily, Doodly has a fade feature that automatically fades in each photo and gives us a romantic look without all of the work. And the way you do that is you click the photo and you click the pencil icon. You go over here to reveal mode and instead of draw, which just kind of scribbles it on, we're going to choose fade. And I'll go through and do that to all of the photos. But beyond making the photos fade, we do want to add some hand-drawn embellishments to make the videos really pop. So for this tutorial, I've gone ahead and gathered a few little doodly things, little doodles of frames and hearts and flowers and other romantic images. And I found them on freepick.com. That's one of my favorite sites. I have a premium account, so I don't need to put a credit for them. But I also sometimes use Pixabay, and there's tons of sites that you can use for royalty-free images. Just search for doodle drawings, and you should find a whole bunch. And then for the soundtrack, I found a royalty-free track, and it's called Love Always, and it's from Audio Hero. And I purchased that, um, I have an account, so I just purchased that there. You can find royalty-free music online, or you can use a track from your personal collection. Just make sure you have the rights to use it. Now, if you want to get fancy, you could also interview the happy couple and include sound bites throughout the video. So now that I have turned all of my photos so that they fade, we need to add some of those doodles. And that's what's gonna really personalize this. So this is one of those doodles I was talking about. And I want to not have that fade, I want to actually draw it on. So this time I click the pencil icon and I'm in here. And instead of having it scribble on like that by default, I want it to still draw it, but I want to tell it how to draw it. So I'm gonna start here with my first path and I'm just gonna click in the image and I get a little blue dot. And then I click along the line drawing. Now you'll notice there's a very faint red line and that's the reveal path and it's very skinny and it's only gonna reveal however wide that path is. So since I have a fairly thick line, I want to make it much wider. So I'm going to path size and I'm making it larger. Now since this is an uncomplicated image, there's nothing I have to worry about revealing all around it. I can make it quite fat and it's not going to reveal other things. So it's gonna look nice. It's just revealing invisibleness. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it fat so you guys can see it. I wanna skip over this banner. So new path, and then we come down here and just continue. And now I'm just gonna follow along. Okay, so I now have my little doodle heart. Let's put their, the couple's name, Jake and Jill. You'll notice I use kind of a fancy romantic looking font because it is a ready draw. And then maybe down here, let's add the date. So this font was Christy. Click over here on font, on text here. And then I'm gonna scroll down and select Christy. Just gonna say August 15, 
two by two two. Something like that would be nice. And then we could put something in here if we wanted. I'm not gonna deal with that today. And let's take a quick look and see how this scene is starting to look. So here's my nice fade on of the girl. I don't like the hand erasing that. And I don't like that. But everything else is fine. So that hand erasing, it's a personal preference if you like it or not. Go over here to settings. I'm gonna turn it off. So it's right here, erase mode. It's smart mode by default, Well, I'm turning it off. And while we're here, we could change the hand. I think this sweatered hand is a little too casual for a wedding. So maybe this nice black dress shirt would look good. Or if you want a female hand, you could choose a different one. But I think for our purposes, that's gonna look nice. And now let's take a look. I do like the slow fade for this because remember it's going to be romantic and I have flowing music and that'll be fine. And that looks just great. And then it's just going to continue on with some more photos. Now, let's go over here and add some more of those embellishments. Now, here's my little folder out of the little love story doodles that I had downloaded earlier. And what I want to do is upload those into Doodly. So let's go over to the Props tab, click the little blue plus sign, and then we're just going to drag and drop them. So I'm going to select them all and drag and drop them into Doodly. So here they are. You'll notice they all start with the word love story, and that just makes it a little easier for me to find them. So, I like this heart. Or maybe this heart. This one. We could put it here like we did kind of with that other one in the center. I think that's going to be pretty. This one is going to fade on. And I'm not going to have this be a big long three second fade. I'm going to make it fairly fast. So, if we preview just this scene. Here's our little girl, our little boy, and then our heart comes on. And then, well, they disappear too fast. So what do you do? You go to scene settings and we want to give it some time at the end. Okay, now remember music is playing. I think this, this also needs some scene settings time. Should be fine. And we'll do that to all of the scenes. Now this one, what do we want to use here? Well, she's looking at a little snail and I downloaded a little snail. I thought that would be kind of cute, but a little snail somewhere here. Put a star over here for a boy. And this time I'm going to do some drawing. So it's the same process. Okay, there's our little snail. It looks good. Something like that looks kind of cute. These I think we will have fade on. Again, we want some time at the end where people are gonna wanna go, ooh, ah, oh, they're so cute and whatnot. And if they have any funny photos, you want time for them to laugh. Now, this final picture, this final scene, I have these same photos from before. And then I have this on top. And the reason I do that is because I want this one, instead of swiping in, I want this one to be a slow fade on top. I need to go back to this one and copy and paste these two into this scene. And I'll show you in a minute why. Put them behind that so they're covered. And notice how the ones before, they have a zero duration. Well, these need to also have a zero duration. 
basically we are making an identical scene so it just looks seamless this one if i go to scene settings i am going to put a little bit of time so we can see it like before but instead of having it swipe i'm taking it away nothing's going to happen it's just going to switch to this scene and we're not going to see this photo yet we're just going to see the identical thing that we saw and then this photo when we're ready is going to fade on so i'm going to give it like a delay of one second and then it's going to fade on so if we just preview this scene there's our fade okay and then this is our last scene so let's give it like 20 seconds at the end Let's add our engagement rings. And let's change its color to white. And I like that. So finally, let's add our music track. You go to sounds. And since I got this from an external site, I need to upload it. So I'm going to go to the blue plus sign. And then I'm just going to browse for my files. Love always. That's my song. MP3. And I'm just going to drag it over, continue, here it is. Now you'll notice it's 3 minutes and 18 seconds and my video is like 2 minutes long. So I'm going to go to the beginning here of my scene and drag it into place. And I'm going to scroll over to the end and it's way too long as expected. So couple things I could do. I could either shrink this down and then fade it out, or I could go the opposite way. And today I'm going to go the opposite way because I like that long, slow fade out of the music. So I'm just going to drag this over. Let's see how many more seconds. Oh, I got a long ways to go. So I'm just going to keep dragging to shorten this front end. And then I'm going to move it down. It is a little tedious, I know. And that ends perfectly. That's exactly where I want it to end. So I'm just going to tighten that up. That way it'll have a nice, nice, really pretty fade at the end. And over here at the beginning, I don't want it just blaring on. I want it to fade in. So I right click and I choose fade in. And I'm going to make it like a five second long fade in. I think that'll be good. Just from experience, I know these music tracks come in really loud. So if I click this little speaker icon, I can turn it down quite a bit. I'm going to go 50% because I do not have a voiceover. If I had a voiceover, I'd go down way down 10% or so. So let's take a quick look and then we will be done.
that's how you can use Doodly to make a romantic love story video. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.